chapter 14 verse 19 Jesus said because I live ye shall live also now quickly before we pray please be seated how can I live in the realm of more than a conqueror now that I understand what it means to be more than a conqueror how do I live in that realm how do I live in that reality very quickly and then we'll pray number one you must be born again you must be born again john 1 12 to 13 says but as many as received him to them he gave power to become the sons of god even to them that believed in his name who were born not of the will of flesh of man but of god when you are born again that's the first step to living in that realm of being more than a conqueror it starts by being born again and that is why every believer must treasure your salvation experience number two how you can live in that realm of being more than a conqueror you must submit completely and wholeheartedly to the authority of god's word you must submit completely and wholeheartedly to the authority of god's word First John 2 from verse 13 to 14. You must submit to the authority. The word of God must be the authority over your life. It must be the final say. Your life must be governed by the dictates of the word of God. That is what gives you access into that reality of being more than a conqueror. He said, I write to you fathers because you have known him who is from the beginning. I write to you young men because you have overcome the wicked one. I write to you little children because you have known the father. Verse 14, I write, I've written to you fathers because you have known him from the, who is from the beginning. I've written to you young men because you are strong and the word of God abides in you and you have overcome. You must submit to the authority of the word of God. Don't try to, don't try to question or try to, 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 to conflict with what scripture says. You can bring your life to a point where it is totally aligned with the dictates of scripture. You may look strange to your generation. You may look strange to the people around you. But if your life can be totally governed by God's word. What did Jesus say in John 15? He says, if you abide in me and my words abide in you. He said, then you shall ask anything in my name and it shall be done for you that my father may be glorified how did jesus overcome the enemy it is written it is written it is written the authority of god's word not just in knowing but in obedience in doing it for instance second timothy chapter 2 verse 24 says and a servant of god must not quarrel so your holiness experience is not only on Sunday. Then on Monday at the filling station, somebody drives his car before you into the queue to get fuel. And then you stand up and say, I go show you. Say, I'm from Delta. I go show you. I'm from Delta. And then your, your fellow brethren, your, your, believe, your believing sister is telling you, please calm down. Let's just say, no, 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 no. Let me teach them that Christianity is not stupidity. No. Put it there. He said, and a servant of the Lord. He's not talking about pastors alone. All of us, we are servants of God. Must not correct. Must not. I know you correct with your roommate before you came. Must not correct. Why will you live being dictated, uh, you know, being governed by your emotions? Emotions are as cloud. If the wind blows, they can pass away. Most times you get depressed and when you come out from that depression, if they ask you, why were you depressed? You can't point to one thing. Emotions are not stable. The Bible says the word of God, leave it and I bide it forever. Even if your life may not be producing the result, keep staying on the word. Keep staying there. Keep living in it. Keep walking in obedience. 
a day will come where you will bear fruit. Remember the parable of the sower? The last set of seeds that fell on good ground. He said, these are those who heard the word and received it and bore fruit with patience. Patience. It may take time. The excellency of the life of the spirit does not manifest at once. It takes time. There's process. Tell your neighbor, stay with the word. Number three. How do you, how can you live in the realm of being more than a conqueror? You must daily yield to the leading of the spirit. You must daily yield to the leading of the spirit. Galatians 5, 16 to 18 says, Walk in the spirit that you will not fulfill the laws of the flesh. You must yield to the spirit. In Isaiah 30 verse 21, it says, You shall hear a voice behind you that will say, This is the way, walk in it. When you turn to the left or to the right, the voice of the spirit that is within you, that is the best way by which God can direct you. That is the best way by which your life can be controlled or navigated. Many of us have replaced the Holy Spirit for probability. We have replaced the Holy Spirit with life, uh, with time and chance. It is the Spirit of God that helps you to live up the fullness of your victorious life when you yield to Him. Yield to the Spirit. You must learn to hear His voice. And He's in every one of us. It starts by you being conscious that He's with you. And then you will hear Him to a point where He will make His voice so custom made to your thoughts. That when you think it's like he's the one thinking. At that point, your mind has been totally renewed by scripture. It's not now that you don't even know one scriptural verse that you will say, your thought is the Holy Ghost. Don't try it. That's why you made that investment and if you, you failed. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in it, he doth meditate day and night. It is at that point that the light of the spirit can shine in the life of that man it is that kind of man that he can think and his thoughts are of God number four finally what to do to live in the realm of being more than a conqueror you must be ready to endure temptations and afflictions you must be ready to endure temptations and afflictions temptations and afflictions one of them is a battle between you and situation the other one is a battle between you and yourself you hear what i'm saying when it comes to afflictions and trials that is a battle between you and circumstances and situations when the odds are stuck against you but when it comes to temptation is a battle between you and yourself there is a big difference between temptation and affliction. In the face of one, there are circumstances beyond your control. In the face of the other one, there are circumstances against you because of an affinity that they have with a side of your flesh or with unbridled desires. Now, every one of us at some point will face one of these. Can I tell you something? There will be points where you will have to endure. Somebody say endure. Endure. 